hey, 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 you made it back. Thanks for coming. Today I have planned for you one of my favorite salads that uses bok choy and peanut butter. I call it peanut choy. Stick with me all the way to the end of our peanut choy salad and I will give you the recipe on screen. All right, as I build our salad today, over here in this corner, you'll see the calories count up. Over here in this corner, you'll see nifty tidbits about each vegetable. Okay, starting with the lettuce. These hearts are a little bit on the small side, but that is okay because we're adding the bok choy. So I'm using three different hearts to make us three different salads. I don't like to chop off the white base of the lettuce head until I have chopped most of the lettuce. All right, next we've got our bok choy. These are baby heads. I've got about one baby head for each of my three salads. You definitely could switch out one big bok choy head for these small three baby heads, but you'll probably have a little bit left over bok choy. Next I've got three huge navel oranges and I'm going to cut up one for each salad. This orange has a little bit darker flesh than most oranges that you see. That's because it's a Cara Cara variety. I am always on the hunt for new orange varieties to try out. Speaking of orange hunting, I am totally looking for a variety that will grow near me. My cold hardiness level is zone four, and that is way too cold for citrus. So I've been toying with the idea of getting a greenhouse, or if I was really strict about a 100 mile diet, I would give up citrus altogether and embrace the foods that do grow here. What do you guys think? What foods would you miss the most if you were trying to eat locally? Mung bean sprouts are amazing in this salad. We're gonna use about half a cup per salad. I let their tails get this long, two to three days. I'll show you exactly how I do this at the end of the video. Now for the fun part, the salad dressing. <laughs> I'm a peanut butter lover, so of course we gotta do some peanut butter. So each salad needs about two tablespoons of peanut butter and that's, I have about, six tablespoons left in this um, container, maybe a little bit less, but that's probably good for me. So I'm going to put all of the ingredients into the peanut butter container from the store before I dump it on my salad. So to the peanut butter, we're gonna start by adding vinegar. This is rice vinegar that I've had in this jar for about a couple weeks, and I've had oranges sitting in it and it's absorbed a lot of that orangey flavor and so this plain old rice vinegar has now become a delicious gourmet sensation on your salad. For each salad we want a tablespoon or two of this vinegar. One, two, three, oh maybe four. There we go. Okay, to this peanut butter vinegar slurry. I'm adding a teensy bit of Bragg's Liquid Aminos. This is going to be maybe a teaspoon for all three salads. And freshly chopped garlic and ginger. And these are like minced teeny weeny because it can be intense to get a, a mouthful of garlic piece or a mouthful of ginger. So make sure you either shred them or chop them finely. Now we mix this all up. Add some water. All right, that's the consistency that I like. If you want it a little thinner or thicker, just use less water. Thanks for making it to the end. Here's that recipe I promised you. Hey man, you are the only one who shoves your fork into your face. So every time you pick up a fork, choose freedom. When I'm sprouting mung beans or lentils or yellow peas, I like to start with about a quarter cup. All I do is I dump it in a jar and cover it with water. That's it. Let it soak overnight. In the morning, see all these little bubbles on top? That's a sign that the germination has begun. They've popped out of their little shells and they're on their way. So we're going to dump out the water. After that, let them grow in a sunny place in your kitchen, rinsing them a couple times a day till they look like this. Then you can put them in the fridge or use them right away.